In this video, we'll get to know how to place the camera into our 3D scene. But first, we will have to plan our shots. Is it going to be a two-point perspective or a one-point perspective? For now, let's place the camera for a one-point perspective view. We will go into a Create tab, and then we will move on into Camera. And the drop-down list, make sure you choose a standard camera. Here are three types of the cameras. For now, we will choose the target camera. We will activate the target camera. When we are going to place our camera, we have to view it in the top view. So I will place my camera a little bit further. I will click and drag the target. And I will release the click. Okay. As you can see here, at the left view, the camera has no height. So in order to give a height to the camera, we are going to select our camera. I will go into my perspective view. I just have to activate it using the click scroll button. And then I will change my perspective view into my camera. So now my camera is... Uh, my camera name is 001 so i'll click on it and this is my current view of the camera so i just have to increase the height of the camera i just have to click the scroll button and drag and if you see here the left view the camera has been the camera height has been increasing i will release the uh, scroll button so now I want to give a specific height for the camera. Usually the camera height is same as our eye height, or our standard eye height. So I'll click on the camera. I will go into selection so I could, so I could change the uh, height of my camera. I'll make sure that, for example, 1.4, which is a standard um, I height okay when you're changing the height of the camera make sure you, ch you change the height of the target as well so our camera has a target so um, you can select the target by zooming in and click on the uh, small square here or or we can we can go to the layer uh, panel and we can click on the target Okay, so as you can see here, the camera has two parts, which is the, the camera itself and its target. So I will um, highlight the target. I will go to the Z-axis and I'll make sure that the camera and the target are in a straight line. Okay, so I will activate my viewport, which says camera point one, and I will do some modification into my camera so I will select my camera I just simply highlight the layer of my camera I would make sure that I selected my viewport which says camera 01 I will go to the modify tab here it says my target camera and on the parameter I can see the length uh, the lens length sorry and the field of a view uh, degree. So what does the length uh, view mean and the field of a view? The focal length is basically the distance between the lens as a glass and the film or the sensor inside a camera. Short distance are referred to as a wide angle length because of their angle of a view. So the shorter the length, the wider the field of a view and the wider the angle. So short distance of the focal length will affect the field view of the angle. So as the focal length goes shorter, my shots of the uh, of the um, um, 
the shots would get uh, most of the surrounding. Okay. Keep in mind that I am standing on, on a specific spot. I haven't changed my spots physically, only I am changing the length of the lens inside my camera. So if you increase the length to 50 millimeter, my field of view angle would be narrower, for example, for 45 degree. And this is the standard focal length, which our eye perceive naturally. So this is the 50 millimeters. As I said, the focal length is being a little bit narrower and the object that appeared far away and the lower millimeter will be a little bit further to my view. As I increase also the focal length, the object will be closer to my view. For example, as we can see here in the 200 millimeter, the castle has filled up entire the um, shot frame because of the focal length has been decreased into a 12 degrees only. Let's take a look on the focal length inside an interior. So the natural viewing angle is between 35 millimeter and 55 millimeters. So this is the best in interior views, but not always is the best. For example, if you have an 18 millimeter, it is best for uh, exhibition or white interior spaces. You can see the most of the interior space here. For a single room, you can have 35 millimeter to 55 millimeter. This is the view that we are getting. If you want to stress out or you have, you know, some extra shots, uh, if you want to uh, point out a specific element inside the space, we could increase the focal length and we could zoom or the object that appeared further away would be closer to the eyes. So going back to the scene, I would select my camera and at the same time I will activate my viewport. Now, in order to see the exact view of the camera, I would change my viewport into a show safe frame. I'm still in my camera view, but I would change it into a show safe frame. That would give me a safe frame when I that uh, uh, would show what my camera is showing exactly onto my viewport. Here are some ready-made options that are being placed into the parameter. So when clicking 15 uh, millimeter, the field of view is so wide and I can see most of the space. Also, I can see uh, the spaces surrounding the, my room. As I go, as I increase the length, the objects that are placed further away would fill up my entire shot or my entire camera shot. So here the field of a view would change accordingly when changing the focal length. So for now I'm going to choose 50 millimeter which is the ideal uh, focal length. So yes, the view doesn't look like as what I'm expecting, but I need to change the position of my camera further away in order to see my uh, perfect shot or to create my perfect shot. So let's go back to my top view. I will select the camera and I will place my, I will change um, the position of my camera to a little bit further more so I could see most of my interior space. Here is my um, field of view. As I can see here, the, the two lines here represent the field of view. I would increase the, um, okay, I would go to my um, viewport first and then I will increase, I will place my camera a little bit further. So I can see most of my room, the walls, floor, and the ceiling. And 
and also here's the field of view angle showing the most of my interior space to make sure that you get a good shot all of the vertical side inside the interior must be parallel with the camera shot frame One of the common mistakes is placing the target lower than the actual camera and this will fill up much or most of my uh, shot will be filled up with flooring and also the vertical lines inside the space doesn't parallel with the camera frame. You can see now the difference when placing the target at the same height as the camera. In order to change my camera into a two-point perspective, I will change my target to be positioned approximately into this wall. So I could have uh, a two-point perspective of this wall and the other wall. So I'd go back to my top of view. I'd make sure that I select the camera target and I would change my camera target position to be placed approximately into this corner. I will also change my camera position I will activate now the viewport to see my camera positioning maybe I could move it a little bit toward the left I would change the position of the target I'll select the camera now and I will also change the camera placements like so so what I am aiming to do is to keep the field of view um, edges inside my interior space to get this final shot all of my vertical edges is parallel to the uh, camera frame and now I'm having a very good shot that is closer to reality <laughs>